Lucid Motors may have taken a jab at Tesla and Elon on their Twitter today. It reads, guess who is making an appearance during Saturday Night Live tomorrow? Hashtag Lucid Air, hashtag first to 500. I don't know if this is a jab. I don't know if it's going to be a commercial or Peter Rawlinson is going to be on Saturday Night Live. Who knows? We are yet to see this, but this could be a huge catalyst and give Lucid Motors the publicity that they sure do need right now. So with that being said, we are going to go over the technical analysis, any other news that is new to Lucid Motors, as well as go over the price action and what I see going ahead into the future. We also have some absolute groundbreaking news coming from a retweet from Lucid Motors Twitter today and I cannot wait to get into this information but all I ask for in exchange for this video is that you hit that like button for me make me one like button closer to being able to review the Lucid Air with you guys on this channel now with that being said a quick preview into what we will be doing when i hit a thousand subscribers or we hit a thousand subscribers so because this is a community i will be starting a youtube portfolio i will deposit 50 dollars a week and put 60 percent into growth 40 percent into dividend with crypto mixed in here and there track the growth on this channel for a very long time i'm talking 5 to 20 years so you guys want to be a part of that we can grow and learn together so as we already talked about the first bit of news is guess who is making it appearance during saturday night live tomorrow lucid air hashtag first to 500 and this is pretty cool if peter rollinson gets on saturday night live i feel like half the world is looking forward to watching saturday night live and as we all know tesla does not spend any money on advertising so this is already good for tesla to get more brand recognition out there i'm sure most people already know what tesla is so this could be an even bigger deal for lucid motors now that they're getting ready to ramp up deliveries and well start deliveries and ramp up production now i do think this could give lucid motors more of a backlog and that is never a bad thing to have even considering the deposits on these vehicles the dream edition is like 7500 but they are sold out the other one is about the grand touring is about four thousand dollars so it's not a small small chunk of change it's a big chunk of change you have to put down for these vehicles and it shows a lot of commitment so i think that's good publicity for lucid motors now as to the news that i'm very excited to bring to you guys as well it comes from the tweet and replies he says replying to some person deliveries to europe will begin in the first half of 2022 so i'm not sure if you guys believe this or not I am leaning towards believing this. I think they are getting their production capacity up to scale and getting ready to start delivering these vehicles in the near term for future. I'm talking the next three months. So to put a definitive yet again, I know they have said this already, but to put a definitive on the first half of 2022 is very good as of right now. Because if you go to Lucid Motors website, I'm not going to this second, but if you go there and you actually go to pre-order a vehicle, you can get them in about 15 to 20. 20 countries i'm not sure exactly the number it's somewhere in between there and the biggest concern or question i had is when these will actually get delivered because a lot of people i mean they want ev vehicles they want the lucid air but they're not going to wait years and years to get them delivered so if they can speed this up like they are hinting to right here i think this is going to be very very good for lucid motors as far as their backlog and actually getting things done now, as to the short interest today, we had 14 and a half million for market volume and we are on Fintel, but they have not updated the short volume ratio, which is the number of shares shorted. So we had 14,500,000 in volume for the day. And out of that, 3,083,000 was sold short. And that does come out to be 21%. So we are highly elevated in that extreme short volume ratio area, short interest ratio. And you can even see as as far as the short volume ratio on a chart, uh, just the spike we have seen over the past couple of days right here. This is this all the information and we've seen when it popped and all that. So it is highly elevated and we have been in between 20 and a half percent, 41 percent, 18, 17, 20, 19, 20, 16 and 22. So we are somewhere in between this range, I would imagine in the low 20s or even slightly 
under 20 but we are still extremely elevated so upon any good news even possibly saturday night live catalyst we could also get more publicity into people invet wanting to invest into lucid motors because a lot of people see a cool product and just want to go buy the buy the stock arbitrarily right they're going to look up the company especially in this day and age and try to invest in them and as well as once we get good news in any form delivered whether that's deliveries a lucid motors apple rumor that could also send the shares flying now as far as the technical analysis on ccib we are obviously in a pretty bearish downtrend still but we are bouncing like i said between our 19 dollars support level and our 20 dollars resistance level once we get close to that 20 dollars level we just really start to sell off and we have been in this range ever since uh, may 3rd and that's where we really consolidated around the 20 dollars mark and that was a pretty good support for a while and then once we broke that we have pre stayed pretty pretty far from that level to be quite honest we've been floating with the 19 dollar mark as a support and somewhat of a resistance level at times but i do think this is more or less a support level 19 dollars is key to watch if we get bull it bearish momentum to the downside under $19 that is way bad and we could even go as low as our $17.62 lows that's about as low as I do see it going but as far as on the upside I do think there's more potential upside here than potential downside because pipe investors the private investors thought this was a steal at $15 per share guys so $17.62 is pretty dang close to $15 per share so I would feel comfortable going in with the private investors closer to their price. But like I said, that's a reason why I don't think it's going back down there. I think we'll get a lot of buying at that level. Now, as far as our resistance levels going into the future, I I'd still do see the $21 mark as being a more major resistance level. Upon any news, depending what Saturday Night Live does, we could even open up over $20 per share. And I would not be surprised to see that given the publicity this will cause. I don't think they're saying this on Twitter for no reason so i do think there will be some kind of effect on the stock and even somewhat throughout the day when we did start to get this bounce about halfway through the day about right on halfway through the day we we seen this major bounce and all this buy volume come in and then we seen the sell volume come in but uh that i think could be to do with the twitter and announcing they are going on saturday night live i could be wrong this might just be a sweep a call sweep something like that to that extent but i don't think it's that i think it's the twitter and them announcing they're going on saturday night live so with that being said i am watching the 20 dollar mark as resistance and the 19 dollar level as support and that is really it when it comes to the technicals we have been bouncing strongly in between the 19 and 20 dollar range and i do see the 21 dollar level as more of a major resistance point but we're really waiting on confirmation some news delivery day rumor confirmations and now saturday night live so we have a lot of upcoming potential catalysts we're gonna have to wait and see how this unfolds that is the update for today i will see you guys later if you got anything useful out of this video make sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel consider hitting the notification bell and i will see you guys later take care